flat. I'm going to take my ruler pen and I'm going to roll it out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take it and peel it off and I'm going to rotate it because I think it was like this. Now I'm going to turn it like this so that all the particles marry together and live happily ever after. This is going to be our measuring rod for our, our, our coil. And using a little bit of water and blending and then scoring and adding that slip inside of the hatch marks. And then I'm going to connect it and blend it with my fingers a little bit. But remember to also score the outside a little and then blend that in.
take a piece of clay and create a tiny worm like coil. Maybe another one too. And you are going to dip it in water and uh, put it on the base on the inside where the seam is, okay? You You're also going to rotate it around and that's going to give it a little lift and clean up the bottom and make it look really nice and neat. And you can even flip it over and like smooth it, anything out that needs to be smooth. Twist and that's going to allow it to roll. And I don't really want something super thick. But I'm not going to stop after I rolled it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it just like I've done before to the thickness of a pencil. Maybe a little bit thinner, but not too much. So if I want to, I can make like a heart shape. Or I can make something that's more of like a C shape. Backward C. There you go. That's the right way, right? Yeah. <laughs> But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take my coil and I'm going to bend it. And then I'm going to cut it. Blink. All right. So I cut it a little bit at an angle so that it would be a little thin right here and thicker at the top. And if I put it at its side, it creates like a half of a heart. I can kind of like set it on the side and ask myself like how much clay do I need to cut down and then yeah that looks about right the right shape and then I'm going to attach it When you attach a handle, it is so important to score really well and to add a lot, enough slip, or create enough slip like we do. I think I'm going to add a little more water and then create more slip. Just in case. Okay. And then I'm going to attach it. And I'm going to put my hand on the inside and create pressure on the outside so that it attaches really, really well. Same thing with the top part. And then I'm going to blend it together. There we go. And I am also going to add a small coil to help it attach a little better. So, kind of like what we did last time, Xavier, where you rolled a really, really thin coil. You dip it in water a little bit. And then we're going to attach one here, and I'm going to roll out another one, and attach it to the bottom part. Don't get rid of it, you're just blending it in, and then you're blending in, oops, I don't think I need that, it's like an excess. Blend in the stuff on the side. Yes. 
same thing on this side. We want to make sure that it's attaching like a branch would from the trunk of the tree. Maybe a little bit more on this side. So a little thicker where it attaches and then as it goes out it can get a little thinner, but not too much. You want it to be about the thickness of the rim. Use your instincts, guys. You have really good instincts to what is beautiful and functional. You're able to judge that really well. So think of a mug that you've seen in the past. Go around your house, and I'm sure you have some cups around, even if they're like, you know, mass produced, they still follow the same rules that we do. So, um, your, your mug's handle should not go above the lip line. If it goes above here, it's going to be really awkward to use and hold, so be careful that it does not go above there. Sometimes I'll hold it on the side and just like blend that area in so it's like a, like I said, like an arm or a branch. Well attached and it feels like it was created as one, even though you created it in two different parts. Look at that. That's pretty good. If you flip it upside down, sometimes it gives you a better view of the mug and it can help you to see if it was well attached. It can help you to see if it's like a little odd or off and then you can kind of adjust it and then flip it back up and it changes the entire mug. I like this mug. I think it looks cool. Yeah, I'm a fan. All right. Thank you.